Hello everybody, my name is Rebecca Grace and I'm a Squarespace website designer for travel photographers. Today we are going to talk about how to change the background of one of your sections from an image to a color when on mobile. So for example, you might have a section like this that has a background image and some text. Um, but when you get to mobile, like this, it kind of cuts the image off um, or maybe it's just, in my case, a little too busy for when you're on a mobile screen. So you want to change it from an image to just a simple background color. Um, and there is a way to do that. It is tricky and kind of depends on what you have in here. Not all templates work the same for this. Uh, some make the banner image have a high importance and so it doesn't like to take custom coding or CSS very, very nicely. Um, so I'll show you a couple different options of how you can kind of go around this. So first you're going to design custom CSS. And in here we first have to insert some mobile breakpoints. So you're just going to copy and paste the code from below this video. And all this does is insert some places so that the screen knows where the breakpoints between a desktop, a tablet, and a mobile are. So here it says we're doing mobiles anything less than 640 pixels and tablet is between 641, 949. Anything larger than that we're considering a desktop. So any code you put in between these two lines will only apply to tablet and anything between these two lines will only apply to mobile. So that just inserts some breakpoints so our code, the computer knows what code to apply to what different screen sizes. Okay. So my first option uh, for changing, um, and this only works on some templates. So the pros to this is it's super simple. The cons to this option is that it doesn't work on very many templates. Some templates it does and some templates it doesn't. So you're just going to copy and paste again the code below this video and it looks something like this. So you're going to change where it says name of page, you're going to change to the section that you want to change to. So if you go here, you'll see it says settings. Whatever you have in this URL slot, that is the name of that page according to our computer. So you're going to copy that and paste it right here. Okay. And then you can change this to whichever color you want. And you notice this actually does not work on this template. Um, so you won't see any change on my template. If you're one of the lucky ones and you've chosen a template that this works, it makes it super simple. It just says in this section, I want you to change the background to this color when on mobile. So that's option one. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, there is another option. Okay. So option two is to set the image to display none and then set a background color. The pros of this is again, it's a fairly easy fix and it works on just about every template that I've tried it on, it works. However, if you have other images within this section, it's going to hide those as well. I have not found a way to just target the background image and so this code will actually make all of the images in this section disappear. I mean, for the most part, if you have a background image, you probably don't have other images on here, but if you do, just know that this option may not work well for you. So again, just copy and paste the code below this video. We're going to change, again, our name of page. Okay, and that has hidden all of the images. And then this next section tells it to put a background color. In this case, it just has it as white. Um, if you can put it to, you know, whatever color you want this background to be, that's what you're going to put right there. Okay, so you can change it to whatever color you want. Um, so again, the pros of that, fairly simple. Um, cons, you can't have other images or it will hide those as well. If you have another image you want to display, there is a third option. However, it comes with a couple warnings. So the pros of this is that it will work on every template um, and it makes it super easy to customize the section completely for desktop and mobile. You can have a completely different view. 
However, the cons to this, if you have a very, fairly large section, um, so if there's a lot of content in this section on the index page, um, or you have a lot of images, it may not be the best option for you because it can affect your SEO and your page load times. So the second option is to actually create two different sections. Okay, so if we go to our pages, okay, so if I had um, this section here, okay, I've created this section, what you can do is click on this, click on the gear icon beside it, and duplicate the page. drag and drop them to be right beside each other. Okay, so now I have two of these sections. Um, and what I would do is set one, so our first section is how I want it to look on desktop. The second section is how I want it to look on mobile. So you can take out the banner image set everything else to be how you want it to display on mobile, and then we're gonna use CSS to hide this one on mobile and hide this one well on desktop. So again, obviously it's super easy to customize. I just, I designed this just strictly for how I want it to look on desktop. I design it here to exactly how I want it to look on mobile, so you can change things around. But again, if this section is really big and you have, that's gonna double the amount of images let's say you have on this page. So that could slow things down. Also, search engines don't like it if you design sites different for website and mobile. They want your sites to be just as, have all the information on mobile as it does on desktop. I don't know how smart they are in determining if they can see that you're displaying one section for the other. I don't know if that will affect and if they'll be able to tell, but I do know that they're trying to um, avoid websites that are complete, look completely different on mobile as they do desktop. They want them to be responsive and then to get the same experience whether they're on a desktop or a mobile. Um, so in terms of SEO and page load times, this may have a negative impact on your website. I'm not totally sure um, how big an effect that might be. So although this is a great option if you have um, other images on here that you want to display, just be careful with how often you use this versus you know some of the other options we have. So again, I've just duplicated that section, altered it for how I want. Then I'm gonna go back here, design, custom CSS. We are going to use some CSS to hide this section when I'm mobile and this section went on desktop. So if I write code above this breakpoint, that's code that's applied to when it's on desktop. So while on desktop, I wanna hide this section. So I have to call up the name of this section. So I go to settings, copy this name. Remember, this is the name we see. This is the name the computer sees. So I'm gonna copy that, and that is the page name and I'm going to set it to display none. So normally on desktop, it is going to display none, so it's hidden. Okay. Well, on mobile, I wanna hide this part and show the part I just hid. So I'm going to copy that, bring it down to our mobile section, and I'm going to set it to display block. Right, so it brings it back up on mobile, and we're going to hide this section, which is called Spotlight Post. Okay, and we're gonna hide that section, so we're gonna put Display None. So while on desktop, it displays this section and not Spotlight Post 1, but if I slip, flip over to mobile, you notice it hid the spotlight post and it's showing copy of spotlight post or spotlight post one. Okay, so your third option is to duplicate the section, hide one while on desktop, 
show that and just and hide the other one well on mobile but again be careful of my warnings about possibly negatively affecting your SEO or page load times depending on what you have in this section okay so that is three different options for setting or changing the background image to a color uh, well on mobile